Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I could do a little what I eat in a day because it's always a really heavily requested video and I thought it would be kind of cool because in the UK everyone's stuck on lockdown and I have had a few questions over on my Instagram if I am still like sticking to my diet, if I'm still tracking macros. So I thought I'd bring you along today and you guys can see for yourself. Hope you enjoy! Breakfast has been a little bit more uh, not lax, it's just because we actually have time to make something other than oats. So this morning we're going to have a muffin with egg, um, avocado and two thick sausages. But yeah, I'll show you all when it's done anyway. Also guys, so I, I think I've spoken about this before, but I always track my macros. Um, it's something I've always done and it's just something that works for me. So throughout the day I will show you like what my macros are, what I, how much, how many calories have been in each meal. Um, not something that you guys can copy because obviously these are like relevant to me. And so yeah, I've still been doing that obviously since this whole lockdown because I think if you're staying on track, well, especially for me, if I'm staying on track with my food, it just makes me feel better. Um, so yeah. Oh look at Benny! Say hi! Hello YouTube family! <coughs> I'm doing a whole avocado, but I would only usually have half, it's only because I'm sharing it with me and Craig, so the whole avocado is going in. Okay, so for the avocado, I literally just add some salt and pepper, and then, I know not everyone will have this, but we absolutely love it, some peri-peri seasoning, because it's just the best. <laughs> Breakfast is served. We have one muffin and one egg, which I don't even think I've shown it there. One egg and then two hex sausages. Hex sausages are something that are a complete staple for me because they're just such, they have just such good macros. And then I have a coffee in my Dumbo mug because I'm a child and an orange juice. And then I will literally put some of the peri peri on my egg. Okay, so I just finished breakfast, that was so good, and I have just um, put in my macros into my fitness pal. I think I have said before when I done one of these last time that my fitness pal is something I swear by. It just keeps me on track and... Bethany, <laughs> look at these two. No, nothing's happening. It's an easy way to track what I'm eating. So, if this will focus, hopefully. So, breakfast is in i had 547 calories let me just go to the breakdown okay so 53 grams carbs 21 grams fat 21 and 32 grams of protein so good start to the day and i just have my coffee and my orange just to finish so yeah i will see you guys at my next meal um i probably not won't have anything now until lunch time um because that like the avocado and everything it's quite filling um but yeah so if i have anything obviously you'll see me and if not i'll see you at lunch time bye Okay guys, so I am just about to make my lunch. I haven't ate anything since I last spoke to you guys at um, breakfast time. We've got a nosy little Vincent, I don't know if you can see him. Um, he knows I'm going to make food, that's why. Yes, though, you're going to make it in a minute. Um, so yeah, I haven't actually had anything since breakfast. We have gone on a little dog walk since then. And yeah, that would be kind of normal where I wouldn't have anything in between. Benny. I wouldn't normally eat anything between breakfast and lunch so um, another thing I just wanted to quickly point out is um, I drink about four of these a day so that's kind of about three to four litres. Um, I actually drink quite a lot so I'd also have throughout the day two cups of uh, 
peppermint tea, two, gu two, gu two cups of green tea, and I'd also have two coffee. So I do drink um, a lot, and I also can't stress the importance of um, drinking lots of water throughout the day um, also. Um, but yeah, so today for lunch, I'm just going to make a kind of like tuna salad. It's nothing too fancy, and it's literally just whatever I have in my, my, in my fridge goes into it. So I'll just talk you through, and also just want to point out that I actually track my... Um, veg intake um it has been like a topic i've seen on instagram before where people don't track it and that's what works for them but i just don't leave anything out because they are still calories at the end of the day so i still count them into my daily calorie intake and it just sort of shows me where i'm at for the day um but yeah also side note i do weigh everything out and for some people they might think that's so like regimented for me it just keeps me on track with things and it's got to the point now where i don't have to weigh out absolutely everything because you know i sort of know by looking at things but for like the likes of my lunch i just will still wet out because then i know what exactly i'm eating for the day if i'm eating enough if i'm not eating enough and i can just sort of judge it from there so in the salad i just get plain old iceberg lettuce and i usually give myself about 60 grams of this Okay, and then add 50 grams of baby plum tomatoes. Just grab whatever I had to hand. I then add um, roughly about 30 grams of chopped red onion. Okay, and then I add one full can of tuna. Usually, usually I will always add um, some sort of protein source to my salad at the minute. It is just tuna because, funny story, my cupboards are actually coming down with tuna because my granny heard that I live off tuna for lunch and she continues to this day to buy me them. So it's very sweet. Um, so yeah, I add in a full can of tuna and then I will literally add like 25 grams of uh, cheese. Okay, so I'm just going in with 25 grams of cheese. And then the final thing I add is uh, 25 grams of uh, reduced fat mayo as well. Okay, and then for seasoning, I just add some salt and pepper. And again, we're coming out with the peri peri seasoning. I think I use this on like every meal. Okay, and then I just give it like a big mix together and that is my salad done. And then with my salad, I will also have a cup of green tea probably. While I am just waiting on my uh, green tea I thought I'd just quickly put my macros into my fitness pal so lunch for that salad um, there's 373 calories in it. There is 9.1 grams of carbs, there is 22.3 grams of fat and 33.6 grams of protein. So pretty good lunch and usually when I have that salad it's quite filling anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly run you through that so you know where we're at. Okay guys, so this is my lunch, my salad and my green tea. I promise you the salad tastes nicer than it looks. Also just wanted to quickly run through that I normally have a little I don't have all these. I normally have a little snack, like something sweet after my lunch and my go-tos are any of these like fiber one bars or usually a grenade um, protein bar. I think I will pick the peanut butter popcorn bar. I cannot recommend these enough. So the macros are really good. I don't know if that'll focus, but each bar only has 90 calories, uh, 4.3 grams of fat, 8.7 grams of carbs and 1.6 grams of protein so they're just kind of like quick little snack and it you know hits that sweet spot after lunch so yeah i will go and have my lunch now and i usually don't really eat anything after lunch until dinner time but if i do i will check in with you guys 
Hi, it's me in the mirror. <laughs> okay, so I know today's video is uh, what I eat in a day. Um, I am about to go and do a little workout, but I thought it would be cool to kind of include this too because I'm going to do a little at home HIIT workout. Some of you might be aware that I train literally at home. Obviously over time I have built up my equipment and everything, but right at the start I started out with nothing. So um, with everyone being stuck in, I thought it'd be cool just to bring you along on a little at home HIIT workout that requires no equipment whatsoever. So yeah, I'm off to get ready, so I'll see you in five. Today's workout is a little HIIT workout that HIIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. The workout consists of five exercises. We're going to do each exercise for one minute. We're going to have no rest between each exercise and whenever we've completed all five exercises that equals one round and we're going to do a total of three to four rounds depending on how you feel. So I'm going to go for four rounds today um, just to really get a sweat on. The first exercise we have is shuffle burpees. I'm going to do a round of sort of explaining everything to you first before we get into it. So the first exercise is shuffle burpees. Okay so also just to add we're only going to be doing half burpees. We're not going to do chest to the floor. So we're only going to go into half burpee just because we're also adding the shuffling. So I'm going easy on you. But yeah so what I want you to do is literally shuffle shuffle Jump back into your burpee, jump in, jump up, land into your squat. Shuffle, shuffle, jump back, jump in, jump up, land into your squat. Exercise two is plank shoulder taps. So all I want you to do is get into your plank position. We don't want to be sinking down, dropping the hips. And we don't also don't want to have the bum in the air. So sort of gain that neutral position. And what we're doing from here is literally opposite hand to opposite shoulder, shoulder taps, try not to rock the body too much for one minute. Exercise three is a pulse jump squat, okay? What we're gonna do here is it's gonna be like a squat pulse first, jump up, pulse, jump up, pulse, jump up, pulse, jump. Exercise four is an ab crunch, okay? You're gonna lie flat on the floor, you're gonna put your hands next to the ears, and we're all we're gonna do is literally crunch the knees into the elbows, keeping the head off the floor, looking up at the ceiling at all times. We will have these for a minute, and there your abs will be on fire. And then exercise five is simply running on the spot for one minute. Once we've completed uh, all five exercises, that's one round complete. We're going to repeat this four times. So we'll start with our first exercise, which is shuffle burpees. And I'm going to set my timer on my phone for one minute. I'm more good than I am bad I work it out, I work it out And I'll be somewhere that you need me And I'll be holding my breath Waiting for you to show Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that you don't need a big fancy workout space, you don't need the fanciest of equipment. If you just simply learn to move your body whenever, wherever you can, that is enough. Um, I think you guys are aware that I started my fitness journey in a tiny, and I mean tiny, little box bedroom with absolutely no equipment whatsoever. 
and I got pretty awesome results from that. It's just simply learning that, you know, you, you, you just need to be determined enough and motivated enough to move your body every day and that is simply enough. Um, obviously over time and progression and stuff I've built up equipment and I'm lucky enough to have um, like a small uh, gym at home now and I wouldn't, I don't actually do many um, hit sessions at the moment. Um, I maybe would have one a week because my training is heavily weight training at the minute as I'm on a new program. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that especially in times like this, it's just so important to get up and move your body whenever or wherever you can because it can just make you feel so much better. Um, so yeah, I'm so proud if you joined in today and hopefully I can include like, more workouts in my YouTube videos. If that is something you'd like to see, please leave me a little comment below. Um, but with regards to the eating side of things, I usually don't eat anything now until my dinner. Um, sometimes I'll take a protein shake because I like getting protein into my diet. Um, I will take a protein shake after my workout, but if I do, I will obviously show you guys. But yes, I'm now off to grab a shower. Season! So I think I last saw you when we done a little workout together, so I have not ate anything basically since lunchtime. I do, I do usually normally have a protein shake, um, like just after my workout, just before tea, but I actually wasn't feeling like it. Um, we're a little later at making, <laughs> sorry Craig's outside the window right now I'm making me feel awkward. We're having kind of like a burrito bowl style thing, um, just kind of a bit random but I'll show you guys what's in it. So what I'm doing now is making the chilli up and it's in it is we have black beans, chickpeas, kidney beans, chopped tomatoes, and then for seasoning we have chilli, uh, cumin, smoked paprika, oregano and salt and some red wine vinegar. Um, yeah so we don't use the whole tin of everything so I'll cook it all now and then we'll like freeze half of it. So I have put into my fitness pal what, all, like, what I will eat out of it if you get what I mean. also forgot to mention that Besides all the beans and spices that are in it, I've also chopped up a red pepper, one whole red pepper and one whole red onion. And I'm going to start off by adding the olive oil to the saucepan and adding both the red pepper and the onion and just kind of letting them fry for a little bit with a little bit of salt. I also forgot to add because it wasn't sitting out. I, do, I add um, chopped garlic to it. Obviously I just buy this one because I'm lazy. Okay guys, so once your veg is like kind of softened, I'm just going to add in like three teaspoons of the garlic. I would recommend kind of using about two cloves, two or three cloves. I just like garlic, so. And we're also going to add in two tablespoons of chili powder. Then we're going to add two teaspoons of cumin. Okay, then we're going to go in with half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of oregano. Or uh, oregano. What's it called? I don't know. I went to America and it confused me. Now I'm going to add my tin of chopped tomatoes. I've also drained all the beans so they can just go straight in now too. And then I'm just going to combine it and let it sit on the hob. Okay guys, so I'm actually letting my mixture simmer for about 30 minutes um, just to make sure it's all combined together. And then this is the rice we are using, not that you have to use this rice, this is just the one we picked and obviously it'll just go in the microwave so I will do that near the time. Okay, since I've been waiting that summer and I've also felt the hiccup so I apologise for that. Um, so now that it's a finished simmering, I'm just going to add uh, uh excuse me. Sorry. <coughs> Oh gosh, if I can open it. A teaspoon of red wine vinegar and some salt. And then just mixing that all in. And 
and then it's ready to serve. Okay guys, and dinner is served. Our homemade burrito balls. I can't take credit for cutting the avocado. That is Craigie's job. Yeah, that's my only job. Um, but yeah, so that's the end result and I'm having a cherry Pepsi Max with it. Absolute fave. So we've got a little visitor after dinner huggles. Um, so yeah, I just put in our dinner into my fitness pal and obviously because we only have like a quarter of the mixture dinner ended up only being 363 calories so yeah i finished dinner and now we probably won't have anything until we always have a cup of coffee in the evening because coffee just caffeine doesn't just just doesn't affect us so uh, i probably will have a wee snack then usually like a protein yogurt or something because i'm a little low on protein today because i didn't have my protein shake but anyway me and Ben are going to go and have a little snuggle on I'm having my last meal of the day now and that is just uh, coffee with uh, one of the Arla protein yogurts. Um, these are one of my like go-to snacks especially if I've had a day where I've just had lower protein or whatever. Okay so my calories today were pretty good. I was on target well just slightly under but I sort of remember that for the week ahead so that say there's a day I go over then today because I was under it just like counteracts itself if that's the right word. Yeah yeah I think. Um, my carbs I hit my goal fat I hit my goal and protein I'm slightly under and that's fine no big shake I always say to people that when I track I don't stress out about it it's just so that I can keep myself on track and also I would have a habit of maybe not getting enough protein or not getting enough fat in my diet so it helps with all that so yeah it was a pretty good day of eating um I haven't really felt hungry or anything and as you can see I've had quite like big meals like they're all quite filling and I think that's why um you know it's important to make good food choices so that then you're feeling fuller for longer um but yeah so that's going to go ahead and conclude this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it um leave a wee comment if you'd like to see more of this thing because it is heavily requested over on my instagram um yeah so don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would really really appreciate it and i hope to see you guys soon bye